Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm currently standing in the middle of a volcano, and oh, I found a chest! And yeah, the reason I'm standing in the middle of the volcano is because in the middle of the volcano, there is a divine beast called Far... Rudania is what it's called. <laughs> this is, out of all of them, the one that I keep forgetting its name more often. <laughs> out of all of them, but uh, yeah, uh, this is where we are. It's basically a... Uh, kind of like a chameleon, I guess, or something. So what am I standing on? Is this the head or is this... I think this is the bottom. I think this is its bottom. I guess its tail, I guess, coming out the, the back. Uh, so yeah, let's go and head inside. We need to go and get the, the first terminal, which is going to, to reveal the, the map. And then we can go and kind of start working out how we're going to, to be able to, to tackle this thing. So here we go. These are my first steps inside. And oh, it's dark. Of course, it's really dark. In it. I didn't realize it was going to be so dark. All right, we should probably go and deal with these eyeballs because uh, that will go and kind of clear up a lot of the the murky stuff all over the, the place. And sometimes it stops enemies from spawning as well and might reveal a cheeky little bonus chest. So I believe the oh, a Dragon Bone Boko Club, uh, my inventory's full. Uh, I probably have something that I could drop for that, I would assume. Uh, this is a bit rubbish. Let's go and let's go and drop this and we can go and grab uh, this uh, instead. Uh, but yeah, I'm using a guardian sword at the moment. So if I have to face anything, it's probably going to be a, a guardian thing. So I would go and use that. And oh, I'm getting chests underneath all of these. This is great. It's just so dark right now. I think I should use a... um. <laughs> One of them! I think I should use a, a torch. I might as well, you know what, I might as well leave that torch in there. And then if this one breaks, I can go and use it. Like, that one had, like, extra durability. I don't know quite how much that matters for a torch. Like, I don't think I've ever had a torch just break in that way. I've always just, like, I don't know, thrown it away or lost it in some way. But I guess that I can leave this chest here and then I'll try and grab it at some point. And ah, do I like this? Okay, this reminds me of a, um, whoa, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, let's not be using the, uh, <laughs> let's not be using the, the torch against this thing here. Let's go and use this instead. Let's try and dodge this one by running. Then let's run in. And is it weak? Oh, no, it's really, yeah, it is weak. It was really, really weak. Okay, there we go. I was able to, to deal with that, no problem. It's annoying though, it means I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be constantly switching between holding the torch and then like having to switch it away to fight and then getting the torch again. Because like any like kind of exciting combat action I do is gonna involve me having to, to put away the torch, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. For example, if I wanna go and shoot the eyeball, I have to put away the torch, and then I need to go back over here to light the torch again. So I'm assuming there's gonna be like places in most of the, the rooms that I can go and light my torch, so I don't need to, to keep going back like that. Uh, there is another chest star reveal down here. And oh, is this a, is this a baddie? Are you a baddie? Let me just whack it with my torch. Oh, it is. It's a baddie. Let's go and whack it with my torch. I guess that's a way to get rid of my durability. <laughs> we should probably just go and deal with this one the, the good old-fashioned way. So let's kind of have a look around and just see what there is here, which I might be able to, to do now. So there's another eyeball up here. Let's just go and take this out uh, straight away for, for starters. And then I guess I should go back and grab the, the torch uh, just to go and light things up. There's uh, there's chests everywhere. I'm being spoilt here. I'm being spoilt with all of these treasures. I haven't even done anything yet, but I'm getting all of these treasures. I wonder if I if I get to the, the map ter terminal... Do you think it will light everything up so I can see around? I hope so, because this is going to be a really big pain otherwise. And oh, it's giving me arrows. Why is it giving me arrows? I don't trust it when it gives me a really specific item. So I think it means that I'm going to... Yeah, look, it's giving me more arrows. I'm going to need to fire a bunch of arrows for some reason. They wouldn't give me a bunch of arrows otherwise, would they? <laughs> Let's go and grab them anyway. And the, yeah, look, they're giving me a bow as well. I'm going to need to fire loads of arrows. What happens if I just hold, like, this flame sword? That... Oh, it's not really a, it's not really a substitute, is it? Right. Let's go back and light the flame again. I think I've dealt with everything I need to to deal with in that room. So hopefully I can wander for a little bit using the the torch. Then again, it doesn't really do all that much, does it? Like, I mean, it lights up in front of me, but like literally just the tiniest bit in front of me. It doesn't like light up the the entire room or anything. So hopefully eventually we are going to find the light switch and just be able to, to light up this entire room. So there's these things here. So I could probably use Ravali's Gale to get over these. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I've got another little little light checkpoint down here. Uh, looks like we have some more enemies around this area, do we? I think I could hear them spawning. Let's take a little wander. Okay, I can't really see what I need to do. Ah, there's a thing on the floor. Ah! Oh, well, we're gonna have to do so. I think we might have to do, like, some spinning round to, like, spin the entire area around. Like, that's something that we had to do on some of the, the other Divine Beasts. So it looks like we're gonna be doing something similar there, unless we just do open it up on the, the floor. 
But I destroyed that thing there. Did that reveal anything? Did that give me another chest? I'm getting greedy now. It keeps giving me all of these goodies and it keeps, keeps making me want to get even more of them. <laughs> but I think we should be. There we go. We are now at the map. Please turn the lights on. Please don't make me do this whole thing in the dark. Oh, I got a little bit of light, but that was just when I put my Sheikah Slate in. Please switch the lights on. I'm here like literally physically crossing my fingers right now. You do it as well. Just increase the, increase the chance, chances. Don't make me do this entire thing in the dark. It's so ironic because we're in like a bright, hot, burning like place full of lava on the outside. And then it's like the darkest <laughs> divine beast on the, the inside. So at least we can see the, the layout of it. And it looks like we are going to be tilting it around. Because when we go to the, the map screen, we can always affect something. And oh no. Lights, I come on, please. The map of the divine beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Yay! It opened up the ceiling, and now I can see. I'm so glad. I was terrified that like this, this one's gimmick was the fact that I'll have to do it all in the dark. I am so, so glad it's not going to make me do this entire thing in the dark. Anyway, I didn't realize there was another eyeball on the ceiling. So is there a chest in that goop that's going to fall down? Ah, so that has been what, sir. That is what has been happening. And oh, I think, did it drop down too? What's with all the goodies? Is it giving me more? Oh, it gave me... Oh, this is just another another torch with higher durability. So it looks like we might need to, to keep using the other torches. The one I have is going to, to do me just fine. And some ice arrows. So yeah, <laughs> just by the stuff they're giving me in chess, I have worked out that we're going to, to have to use a lot of torches, and a lot of bows, and a lot of arrows during this one. So that's what we can be prepared to, to be using a lot. Oh um, yeah, and now we're all lit up. Let's see what we can do. So we can tilt it. So it looks like there's only two positions. So it looks like it's in one position. So let's shift it. And aha, we're tilting down this way. So this means that, uh, oh, I can get to this one. Oh, is this one here? Look, there we go. One down already. That has got to be the world's easiest terminal. <laughs> I literally did it for uh, by accident. But there are four terminals still remaining. So let's not uh, pat myself on the, the back too much. But we've really changed things up. So that doorway I can now access if it was open. But it's not open. So I guess I can't really access it yet. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to fall. But let's have a little wander around. Is there anything I can do? Oh, I've just like knocked all of the chests all over the place. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do down here in this section. So let's go and tilt it back the, the other way. And then I'm going to do like basically the, the same thing again. Uh, but this time try to, to not end up falling down. Uh, so I want to get to what well, I want to get to like here. So let's stand here. Now let's tilt it back this way again. It's quite nice only having like two options for the tilting. Because sometimes you have like a lot more control than I do now. And it gets like, it gets to be a bit much. It gets to be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm glad that there's only like two options for, for me to, to do right now. Because it makes it a little bit easier for, for me to, to get my little head around. <laughs> right then, let's go and make my way up to the, the top here. At this point, there's like so much for me to explore. I don't even need to bother looking at the map because like everywhere I go, like I'm just going to be going somewhere. When used. It's not like I really need to, to scour the, the map to track down where the terminals are going to be. Hopefully I'm going to stumble across a bunch of them and then the ones that I don't stumble across I can go and try and seek out. Anyway, right, let's go and tilt this back around this way and then I will be able to go and to climb up here and then is this going to get me onto its back? I think this is going to get me onto the top of it. Hello! Hello! Probably... Well, I don't really need to use the torch anymore, do I? Uh, not for, for these guys anyway. So I think these guys might be instantly, uh, um, infinitely respawning. So I want to find where where are they respawning from is there an eyeball i need to shoot unless they are just a couple of them roaming around there's an eyeball up in that way it looks like but i don't think that are the ones making these guys up here so let's just go and deal with uh with these little guys i never really realized that they're the the moblins and the bokoblins aren't they and oh there's a torch here ah right so we're definitely not done with the torches which means i need to make my way up here with a torch which is going to be easier said than done because all of the climbing and all of the, the jumping and stuff that I did, I couldn't do that with a torch. I would need to, to find another easier way to get up here. But it seems like that is the, the main thing that I'm supposed to be trying to, to do. So there's the, the flame down there. 
Is there anything else around this top area that I can do? Nothing that really stands out. So this is probably where the final terminal is there. This is probably the one I'm going to need to use to, to do the, the boss. Let's just have a look at it and just make sure it's not a normal terminal, though. Is it going to tell me off and say, no, do the others first? Uh, yep, unable to activate the main one. So this is this is where I'm going to be battling the boss in the middle of the, uh, <laughs> the volcano on this thing's back. And oh! Didn't mean to do that, but accidentally dropped down, and I'm going to go get myself a um, uh, a chest. Uh, another knight's bow! Is that better than things that I have, the the other bows? Uh, probably better than this one, maybe. Let's, I don't know, let's go and grab it. I, I always lose track because some of them fire three, and some of them do more damage. Uh, this is a quick shot one, though, so this one might actually be more useful to, to have for for now. Oh, is that the one? No, this is the, the quick shot one. So let's go and grab that one there. And right now, I need to... Oh, let's have a little peek out here, for starters. And then I'm going to... Ah, okay, so that's just another way up to the, the top there. Right then, let's go and get this torch then, and let's go and see if we can work out the, the way we're supposed to, to get up to the, the top. Because now I've dealt with the, the enemies, I should be I should be safe at least. It might have to be a case of me um throwing the torch up and then like climbing up myself afterwards. If there isn't like an obvious way for me to, to get up by doing this. Actually, can I run up the the middle here? Would this end up like Hmm, maybe if I run up here and then like to the the right, I might end up being able to, to make my way up that way. I certainly seem to be making my way quite high up, but really I'm kind of making my way quite sideways rather than <laughs> quite high up is the, the real way to think about it. So I need to end up... Ah, yeah, I can go here and let's go like this to here. And then we can go and shift this back around the, the other way. And then I can go and light the, the torch. And that is going to go and... Ah, so it's opened up a doorway, but not like one that I can access from here. Oh, there's a little ball in it. There's a little ball. I didn't even notice that. And oh, it's rolling down. It's rolling down. Okay, let's just try and follow it. Oh, hello. The enemies are still coming. They are still respawning. Ah. And where did the ball get to? So the ball got to, to here. So if I shift this round the other way now, this ball's going to go and make its uh, entire way uh, down here like this. I'm just ignoring those enemies. They don't seem to be <laughs> causing me too much trouble. So is the ball going to roll down underneath my feet? I would it be coming by now. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And boom. It's now stopped. Ah, it's got stuck on this block. Can I move this block in any way? Oh, there we go. I can lift this up. And then down goes the, the ball. And poof. I did it. There we go. That was cool. That was a cool puzzle. That wasn't too difficult. And it looks like we have revealed one of the, the next terminals. This is like the first terminal that I've solved where I feel like I actually solved it rather than I kind of just <laughs> stumbled onto it while spinning it around the, the divine beast that I was in. So there we go. There are three uh, terminals left for, for me to, to get, so can't spend too much time patting my back now, but at least we got one of these done. And how am I supposed to get out of here? Do I need to... To t I think I might need to tilt it again. Tilt it kind of back to its normal way. I'm just wondering, do I need to keep this ball with me? Because they haven't blocked the ball off. They're allowed... Come on, let me carry it. Uh, they're allowing me to, to keep it, which makes me feel like I might be able to use it somewhere else. I love the fact that all of like these chests have just been flung absolutely all over the place. It's really cool. Uh, anyway, there's these here. I haven't really looked at these much. So these seem to move a little bit. Ah, there's wood on the front there, though. Can I just use a fire arrow, or do I need to use, like, special, like, blue flames? Okay, looks like normal fire arrow. That seems to, to be doing the, the trick. Uh, let's just go back to, to normal arrows for now, so I have them ready. And now I should be able to, to open up this doorway. That was a pretty simple puzzle, assuming the doorway does open. And oh, look, there's a terminal. Quick, 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 before it shuts. <laughs> that one was even simpler uh, than the, the last one I did. Lucky I didn't miss that. I mean, I missed it at first, but lucky I didn't continue to, to miss it. And now there are only two terminals left. I don't want to go and say anything crazy, like this one's been really easy, because I know the second I say that, all of like the puzzles after this are going to be really difficult, but... So far, it's been pretty easy. I mean, <laughs> there's no other way to say it. But oh, what's this? Was oh, that a sneaky chest? I think a sneaky chest is going to fall down from uh, from above. Uh, let's go and see what's uh, inside of this one. Arrows or torches, probably? <laughs> Maybe a bow. Oh, an ancient gear. I do not mind if I do. And can I fit through here? Come on, I'm Finn. I can fit through that. Come on, it's so close. No, it looks like we're going to have to open up the, the doorway this way and then get through before it squishes me like a bug. Right then. Okay, now might be the time to start actually looking at the, the map. Ah, so there's there's one like behind me. There's one like this way, apparently. Nah, I can see some leaves. 
Looks like we might have to do some more burning. So I think I basically need to get underneath my feet somehow uh, to go and try and find this next one. So maybe if I look around on the the outside down here somewhere, kind of where I started. So you can never really climb on these walls, which makes it difficult. So if I if I spin this thing, which way is it going to spin? Let's just see which... Oh, no, don't do it. There we go. So it's going to go this way. So I can stand down on here... And now I can maybe go and have a, a little look around on the, the underneath and see what I might be able to discover uh, while I'm down here. So I can... Oh, oh, no. A little bit slippery. No, oh, so it's like the... It's literally the other side of the... See on the map? It's literally the other side of where I am now. I don't know if I need to access it from from in down there somehow. I'm trying to like kind of cheat and look around the corner, but it looks like it's all kind of filled up there. What I probably should do before going on these divine beasts is like, before I actually get on them, is just really study them <laughs> before I even do anything. And then that way I'm gonna have a, a good idea to to actually solve all of the, the problems when I get on top of them. But what I might just, I might go back here. This is where I started. This is where I got this first chest. Let's just go from here and look back. It looks like the way I'm going to get this one isn't from the outside, at least. Unless there is something that I can do literally all the way back here and, like, climb up through the tail. Like, this tail's quite thick. It almost looks like I could climb inside of this tail. And look, there's, like, a big hammer thing on the back. I just don't know if I can go inside of that. But if I can, there just doesn't seem to be an obvious way to, to go for it. So let's not worry about that one for now. Let's go and look for this other one because this other one's like basically, oh, don't fall, don't fall. This one's basically the opposite, the opposite. This one seems to be like right on the top of its spine. Can you see that? Like these big things that like are on the, the top up here, it seems to be right up at the, the very top there. So I think the way to get up there might be to like stand like here-ish and then go and spin it around like that. And then I should be able to, to jump up to the, the top here. Am I going to be able to make it up here? Oh, really close to, but not quite. But I can kind of do this. It's scary because there's nothing in between me and the lava right now. And oh, I think this is the thing spewing out enemies. And the terminal is on top of it. Can you see that? The terminal is right there. Right, let's go and... Uh, I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm going to try and get down to that. Oh, oh, there's a chest. There's a chest here. Oh, I'm not going to have to jump across these, am I? Right, let's do a... Uh, a little sneaky save of the, the game, shall we? <laughs> I think that I'm going to have to do some some Legend of Zelda parkour. It's just twice as scary with that giant drop underneath me into all of the magma. Oh, look at this jump. Is that jump doable? I don't know if that jump's doable, is it? Let's play it safe. And even though I'm only jumping to here, let's just go and use Ravali's Gale just to just to get to here, shall we? Just to, to play it safe because I'm going to have to do a, like a similar jump again just to, to get over to, to that way. I got an ancient call though, so that was probably worth it. Could I make that jump? I don't know if I could. I need to get rid of these baddies. Oh, I think the eye. Yeah, look, the eye is right there. So what I could do is if I tilt this back the other way now, which is probably what I was supposed to do rather than do my <laughs> crazy Legend of Zelda parkour, as I called it. I think I was supposed to just do that. That was definitely the smarter way to do it. And now I can poof, uh, go and shoot that one. Oh, I'm still using the... Uh, oh, no, was I not using a fire one? I think the arrows just set on fire anyway, now that we're here. Just because uh, just because everything's so hot. But there we go. We're able to, to get the, the terminal. So once again, I made it look difficult, but that actually wasn't that difficult. The problem thing is now is that the, the last one that I need to get... I have literally zero, and when I say zero, I mean zero idea of how to get to. But I guess the only idea I do have is that I can see fire through there. Uh, oh, hello, wait a minute. Hello, 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 hello. There, ah, right, I think I have an idea now. I need to do this. Okay, I think I have a definite idea what to do, and then shoot this through here, and... Ta-da! Okay, that really wasn't so hard. This one was easy! I can actually say it now because I've pretty much completed it. Well, okay, I haven't done the boss yet. But up until now, this one's been easy. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bit spicy over here, isn't it? A bit of fire over here. I know why it's giving me all of the, the arrows at least. Huh, right. Is there anything I can use magnesium? Can I use stasis on fire? Can I freeze the fire? No. Um... I'm trying to look through there. So that's just the terminal on the other side there. What would I use to get through? Actually, wait a minute. I got fire protection, I think. Okay, once again, cheeky little save. I think I just won't get burnt. I think because I got my fire protection armor on. Let me read what it says. Let me, let me check before I do something really, really foolish. I mean, I've got to do something really foolish here anyway. So I think it just is from fire, isn't it? Yeah, flame guard. 
fire resistant armor. So. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Dancing up and down in the fire. That's such a clever puzzle. It's such a clever puzzle. Because you just assume there's a way you need to get past the fire. But you don't know. Oh, I've set, I've, set, oh, I've set something in my pocket on fire, though. Oh, is that my torch? I've set the torch on my back on fire. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Look. I've said it as I said it on my look. Look at that! Just because it was in like my backpack as I was going, that is so clever. Anyway, let's go and do the the last terminal. Well, the last normal terminal. We still have the the main terminal to do on the the roof. Uh, but yeah, we know we know what that kind of does. So <laughs> let's go and uh, jump back through the the fire, and we can make our way up to the the top. And then we're going to be going up against one of these uh, these other bosses. So far, I've done okay against these bosses, and I made uh, a bunch of grub, and all oh, the fire went off. I was looking forward to walking back through the fire. What I might do is go and grab well throw this torch away go away and go and grab the the other torch that was inside this chest because this one was like a special durability up torch and i know it's like it's just a torch it really doesn't matter but if there's an option to get the better torch i might as well take the option to go and get the the better torch so all uh, right then let me go i think i can just get onto its back by going um uh, up this way and then climbing up to an uh onto its back uh but yeah as you can probably see by the video, I am not going to battle the boss now. Boo! Stumpy, battle the boss now! No, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I am going to be mean and I'm going to make you wait and you're going to have to watch the next video to see me battling the, the boss. This has probably been my favourite Divine Beast, though. I really liked, um... I really liked Varuta and then... Oh, what was the other one called? I can't remember what it was called, but the bird one was cool. I didn't like... I forget its name again. I, I didn't like the camel. Uh, what was it Var M Meadow or whatever it was called? I didn't like that one. I'll be honest. That wasn't a fun one for me. This one was fun. I think it was mainly fun because it was easy and I didn't get stuck too much. And I think that's the way I find it fun. <laughs> but look, the torch again. It's like on fire in my back. Let's go and like switch away to, to something else. Just so hopefully it won't be set on fire. There we go. I don't want to, to waste it all. Anyway, I'm rambling. That is the end of this video. There will be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!